Did you know that seismometers can record hurricanes? These images show four days worth of seismic records from a station in Jamaica, and they show the approach of Hurricane Melissa as it roars towards the island. So how does this work? Hurricanes increase the amplitude of ocean waves, which beat on the coast and seafloor. This produces energy waves that can be seen as increasingly thick wiggles in the seismic record from stations near the approaching storm, and sometimes even stations far away. This video from Earthscope shows the seismic recordings of other hurricanes. This type of seismic noise has been seen in hurricanes and typhoons around the world, including during hurricanes Harvey, Irma, Maria, and Florence. Hurricane Sandy, which hit the mid-Atlantic coast in 2012, was recorded by 400 station mobile transportable array, an NSF-funded Earthscope project that placed seismic stations with barometers across the eastern U.S. This allowed researchers to work directly with these two types of data from the same place for the same event. By animating this data, we can show hour-long median amplitudes at each station spanning two weeks of data. The left panel plots vertical ground motion, and the right panel plots differential air pressure. The apparent wavefront, moving from Florida and spreading north and east midday on October 26th, is likely showing the strength of the microseism being affected by Sandy. This higher amplitude, long period rumbling becomes so strong that seismometers all across the country registered the microseisms.